Hi, welcome to a late 2024 book tour video, bookshelf tour. I like doing these every year just to kind of like see how my shelves are at the beginning of the year, how they change over time, that sort of thing. So we're just gonna go around and take a look at my shelves. I recently reorganized them, so I'm excited to show you kind of like how they've changed since last year and books that are on my TBR. Let me know if there's something that you feel like I should move higher up is there any suggestions you have what should I read next definitely open for all of that and I like organizing my books so I like to reorganize them just for fun and hope you enjoy let me know in the comments what you're currently reading go ahead and get started because it's gonna be a long one okay so here's a zoomed out general just broad overview of all of my shelves um, that is my new skeleton Edgar say hi to Edgar He's great. We love him. Okay, so in this first column, by the way, these are from Ikea. They're not the standard ones that I feel like a lot of people have. The um, Billy ones, they're a little bit different. So I'll put on the screen what they are. I'll link them down below. But this first bookcase is all like mystery thriller. Um, and then at the very bottom, we have like some nonfiction like just some of my old textbooks and then some historical fiction. So we'll start up here at the top. So up here I try to keep like, um, it's very satisfying because they're all book of the month or hardcovers. So they all have kind of like an even line um, at the top. And then I just have my cute little Jack Funko. Also across the top, I have all of my like little Disney Funko Pops. I love Funko Pops and I love Disney. So I collect them if you're wondering what those are. So I have read majority of these, um, the escaper, these are all of my Megan Golden books. I try to keep, so I separate by genre, but I also try to keep like artists to or artists. I'm so weak authors together. So we have the escape room, the night swim and dark corners all by Megan Golden. I've read these two and I really, really enjoyed both of them. So this one is on my TBR. This is like more of a summary type book. So I'm waiting to read this until summer. Um, this is one that I'm not really that interested in anymore. I actually have some of these listed on Pango Books for sale. Um, I'll link that if you're interested. It's just some books that I just feel like I'm not going to get to realistically because I have so many, as you can see. I also recognize this is a lot of books for one person, but I will get to them, I promise. Um, or I might list them and so you can have the chance if I didn't love it or don't see myself rereading it or getting to it, it's on there. Um, so the sanator Sanatorium... Um, is one I also haven't gotten to yet. It's like a thriller, smooth, like wintry kind of book. This one, 56 Days, I did really enjoy this. Um, this is actually a book that takes place at the onset of COVID, which I think now we're starting to see more of that, like books taking place in COVID, which is really weird. Um, anyways, so I haven't read either one of these. Um, not super interested in them. I think I have them listed as well. Writing Retreat, I actually really enjoyed this one. Um, very atmospheric, very weird, but good one then we have um book of cold cases i haven't read this one um reckless girls i read and really enjoyed and these two by stacy willingham top tier really great thrillers so would recommend these if you're a thriller girly or guy um so then we move on to this one this is more mystery thrillers um so we have some of the Janice Hallett books I have. Um, I got into her when we started reading her books for book club. So I've read this one. We read that for book club as well as this one. This one's not the same size. So I just found it a little bit further down, even though it's the same author. Don't come for me, but I can't sacrifice the aesthetic. So The Twyford Code, I haven't read this one. These are both like mixed media and it's like a play, right? As a book, so that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't read this one. This is like a YA mystery. We have the U books, which is based off the Netflix movie or the Netflix movie, uh, show is based off of this. I've read the first one, but I haven't read the second one. Haven't read this one. Have not read either of these Lisa Jewels. I tried to start this one and it didn't hook me. And I know that the, these are very popular. So I'm going to try to revisit it eventually. Um, then we have one of my favorites, Seven and a Half Deaths of Eflin Hardcastle. Definitely would recommend this. A great mystery. Haven't read this one. Handmaid's Tale. I haven't read it. And I'm just, this isn't a mystery. I don't know why it's right here, to be honest with you. But it's just really heavy. So I've watched the show, but I have not had time to get into the book. Saturday Night Ghost Club. This was cute. I enjoyed it. 
This was cute. I enjoyed it. One of my favorites. You may notice a the theme. If I have a book facing out, it's one of my favorites. So just know that there's a reason why they're facing out. They either have beautiful covers or I love them or both. Love this one. Moving down, we have more mystery thrillers. Um, I have a lot of these. The only one left, absolutely loved it. Um, I'm a fan of Riley Sager's work, so I liked this one not quite as much as the only one left. Both of these are by Alex Michelides. I always butcher his name, I'm so sorry, but I love The Silent Patient. I haven't gotten to this one yet. Um, Ruth Ware, I've read most of her work. I have not read one by one. I think that's the only one I haven't read by her, actually. Let me know if I should. In a Dark Dark Wood, um, Turn of the Key, absolutely love both of these. I thought this one was just okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like my favorite. Absolutely insane thriller um, behind her eyes. Would definitely recommend if you're a thriller fan and if you love twist, if you also love like weird dream sleep stuff in books. Defending Jacob, um, I read this because I really liked the Apple TV show. The book is not as good as the show. So just making sure that that's known. Um, Final Girls, my favorite Riley Sager book. Love this one. I have read Sharp Objects by Gillian Flynn. I have not read Dark Places, and I have not read Gone Girl. Um, yeah, I just have these all together because I like the way they look. Sharp Objects was great. So I actually need to put this book up because I just used it for a video, um, If We Were Villains by ML Rio. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, I talk about it more in my TikTok video I just uploaded. All right, wrapping up down here, I have some of my like young adult mystery um, and some other ones kind of mixed in between. Honestly, this doesn't have a ton of rhyme or reason besides like horror. This one's more horror on the shelf. So I, um, I'm i not going to be able to go through every single book, but there's just some of my, I love this one. I'll just point out some of my favorites. This is the Supernatural Enhancements by Edgar Cantero. Very underrated. That's also one that's multimedia. So it has like audio files, video clips, that kind of thing, like throughout the book and letters and stuff. House of Leaves, haven't taken on this one yet. That's a lot to take on. And then all of these are like YA. I love YA horror. I think it's underrated. T. Kingfisher, loved this one. Um, yeah, there's just that shelf. I haven't read this one. Um, yeah. Down here, again, nothing too exciting. Nonfiction. This book is absolutely terrible. And the only reason I still have it is because it was for a book club. Um, I'm trying to sell it, but honestly, you probably shouldn't buy it for me because it's bad. And then I haven't read any of these. All right, so I have all of my Harry Potter books up here and my little Funko Pops. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, down here, we have like contemporary is what I would kind of label this one, contemporary fiction. Um, I have this one facing out because it's actually a copy of this one, which is one of my favorite books I would say of all time now. This is a signed copy that I was gifted by a friend, um, but I keep this one because it's the one I have annotated. But I have not read Bonnie and Moon. I got that in Book of the Month. Read Shark Heart and I loved it. Once There Are Wolves, loved that one. Loved this one. This is a, just a banger area. Um, contemporary is one genre that like I didn't know I enjoyed so much, but looking at them all on my shelf, I'm like, wow, I actually really like a lot of these. Haven't read either one of these two from Book of the Month, Evil Eye or The Book Binder. And then over here, this is like a YA contemporary um, book that I enjoyed. It wasn't my favorite. It's a little, I'm not the target audience, but I thought it was good. Um, I haven't read this one, and then I haven't read this one. I enjoyed The Wilder Women a lot. Um, it reminds me a lot of the games Life is Strange. If you've ever played those, this one was pretty good. Down here we have just kind of like more on this side, more contemporary. And on this side we have more like historical fiction. Um, I loved both of these books. Big Little Lies was phenomenal. Um, if you love rich people drama, you will like this book. Um, Pachinko is very sad, but very good. Would definitely recommend if you want a heavy hitting, multi-generational family drama book. Haven't read this one. I know Ann Patrick's like, a legend, so I will get to it eventually. Um, the Rain Heron we read for book club. It was okay. It had a lot of potential, but didn't really meet my expectations. Um, it's like magical realism, fantasy, kind of like Save the Planet vibes. And then this one, Little Fires Everywhere, I did really enjoy. Again, rich people drama, um, neighborhood drama, kind of domestic thriller. Um, the show's better, in my opinion, which I don't say a ton, but... I did enjoy it more. Here's just some of my bookmarks, by the way, and this is my book stamp. And then we have The Vanishing Half, which was phenomenal. Always recommend this one. Um, I haven't read this one, 
Um, I'll never get out of this world alive. I want to because I don't really see people talk about it. So I'm curious. It's like an unreterated gem. Daughter of the Reach made me cry so much. It's World War II. Kind of like historical fantasy or historical fiction slash romance. The Roundhouse um, historical fiction. We read that for book club this year. I thought it was fine. Um, it's a mystery, but the writing is a little... And the writing and the pacing is a little weird. This one won a lot of awards last year, Yellow Face. Definitely want to get to it sooner rather than later. Let Us Descend for Book Club. I picked that one. Um, it seems interesting. Haven't read it. Take My Hand, we read for Book Club. It takes place in Alabama, which is where I live. And it's a historical fiction, a lot of black history that I think is important. Did I love the writing? Not necessarily, but I think it's important and a good read. The Women, a new pickup of mine from Book of the Month. I have never read anything from Kristen Hanna. Let me know if I should change that. This one's a new release of hers. Here we have more horror and like my Stephen King shelf. I have a lot of his books, not everything, but a lot of them. As far as what I've read, I have not read this one. This one, I've read um, Pet Cemetery, and it's one of my favorites. I got like one quarter of the way through the Institute and I'm bored. And so I put it down. I'll probably pick it back up because it, I've been recommended this one a few times. So I want to give it a fair shot. The Shining, I really enjoyed. Um, again, Stephen King is hit or miss for me. I didn't like Misery. I know a lot of people did. I haven't read either of these three. Or actually, I haven't read any of these. My bad. But I like having them. I like having a lot of books by the same author. Same with T Dean Koontz. Um, I've read The Watchers, and it's one of my favorites. I loved this one. It's like a sci-fi thriller. Um, basically, this like dog becomes self-aware and helps this guy, and it's really wholesome. And it's really good. I haven't read either any of these three by him, but I got a couple more at the thrift store because I was like, if I like this one, maybe I'll like some of these. Let me know if I try any of them. And then down here, we have um, classics, which I... <sighs> I want to be a classic girl and I want to get into this and it's one of my goals of this year is to read more classics. I'll be honest, I haven't read really any of these except for um, when I was in high school, I read Outsiders and I loved it. So I kind of want to reread it. And then I've read Frankenstein. Um, I read Othello a long time ago. I don't really remember a ton about it. And I read The Wrinkle in Time and I did not love it. Don't know. It's a classic, so I wanted to try it out. And then I have these, which I haven't read. Um, I really want to read Jane Austen this year. I want to read Pride and Prejudice because I've never done it, and I just feel like I need to, you know? Alrighty, and then we have my um, Sarah J. Mass shrine all across the top. Um, oh, I need to put House of Flame Shadow back. I spend a lot of time on this area because, again, she's one of my favorite authors. If you follow me for a while, you've known that. But, so I wanted to make sure this looked good. Um, these are all the Throne of Glass books. This one's my favorite and it has the prettiest cover, so I have it facing out. And then this is actually um, my grandma and grandpa's old lighthouse that I have up here and another Disney Funko and a crystal because, of course. And then there's Akatar and Crescent City. Okay, and here I have more fantasy, more fantasy and a Bella Swan picture. <laughs> uh, and then more fantasy and more fantasy. I had to move that picture because the glare was bothering me. But over here, I have kind of like my Disney books. Um, I really enjoy Disney. And so I have a couple of like memorabilia things too. And then down here, we have more Disney. These are all like the Twisted Tales and a couple of extras I'll show you. And then down here, we have um, kind of... So we have my smaller sci-fi section, which I need to put a bit back here too. <laughs> and then we have some of the books that are more like middle grade, like a, the Chronicles of Narnia and things like that. So up here, just kind of going through, um, we have Spells for Forgetting. I haven't read either of these three right here. Um, I have read these three Zodiac Academy books. I'm a fan of Zodiac Academy. It's not the most innovative writing. It is definitely younger, um, but I eat it up. I think it's so fun like if you want a fun fantasy series based off of like elemental magic you have a lot of different like um races of magical beings i think it's very interesting then you have um gods of jade and shadow um we read this for a book club i also thought it was just fine i liked the kind of like mexican mythology aspects of it 
Starless Sea is one of my absolute favorites. I would have it facing out if I could, but it's kind of flimsy, so I can't really. Um, definitely very, very good. Six of Crows, Duology, Chef's Kiss, couldn't be better. Absolutely love these two books. Down here, as far as what I've read and what I haven't, I read all of the Game of Thrones books. I'm missing like one of them. They're fine. I really like the show a lot better. I know that might be a controversial opinion and don't come for me, but the books are good. It's just, it's very dense. Um, and I don't feel like a ton happens in them. I don't know. The show is very entertaining. I think the ending definitely could be better, I will say, but yeah, they're, they're good. I'm glad that I read them, but not my favorite. Serpent and Dove, um, I actually listened to the audiobook. I think I got this at like the thrift store, so I was like, okay, I might as well have a physical copy. I enjoyed this. This is like a um, romanticy series. Um, it's not like my favorite fantasy romance series of all time, but I thought it was good. The book that I haven't read, I feel like that's a crime against humanity and book lovers everywhere, so I want to get to this. I absolutely love this trilogy. Um, it is Clash of Kingdoms is what it's called, and I think it's also severely underrated. It's technically YA, but it's really good, and I would definitely recommend it if you like fantasy. Really cool female main character, enemies to lovers, love triangle, that kind of thing. Very good. Atlas Six I haven't read. Serpent of the Wings of Night I have also not read. Down here we have more fantasy, like I said. Um, I haven't read this one. I started The Witcher, and I didn't love it. Um, I might give it another shot with the second one. From Blood and Ash, I haven't read, but I know it's like very well-renowned in the fantasy, romanticy community, so I want to get to it. I have the first two books of the Cruel Prince. I think it's the Folk of the Air books. I'm not 100% sure what the series name is called, but I've read the first one and I liked it. It wasn't like top, top tier, but I thought it was good. So I want to continue. Uh, Vicious by V.E. Schwab, haven't read that one. And then I have two of the books from um, Robin Hobbs, The Realm of the Elderlings Universe. I am reading these, like I'm listening to the audiobooks of these, but I kind of wanted to have some of the physical copies, so that's why I have these two. So I need to get more of them. Um, Brandon Sanderson, I have a lot of his books that I want to get to. I haven't read any of these except for Warbreaker, but this is on my goal list for this year. I will get to some of these this year. Let me know what your opinion is on what I should read first. And then down here, I have not read most of these, um, except for the Ink Blood Sister Scribe, which I absolutely adored. Um, there's a couple things I would think would, could have been done differently, but we read this for a book club and it was very, very good for discussion. It's like a magical book about sisters and magical books, which I'm a sucker for. And then we have Fourth Wing and Iron Flame. I'm not the biggest fan of this series. I'll be honest, I know it, it is very um, popular and extremely popular. I don't think that this is the best fantasy, romanticy duology out there. I think that all the actor books are a lot better. I mean, there's better dragon books, but it's fun. Like I, I had fun reading them. It's not the worst. And I think that like, if you like fantasy, and you like romanticy specifically, that this is good. I just, I'm waiting for more of the world building. I wish there was more of that and less of the kind of like angsty relationship. And then we also have a couple more back here. This was gifted by my brother and I cannot wait to get this one. Look how pretty this cover is. Moving along, here's a little bit of a closer up view. These are like Disney retellings. It's like what if kind of things. Um, I love these. And then we have down here, I already showed you all of this, but here's some more of my nonfiction, like therapy type books. Um, yeah, just some of my nonfiction and random knickknacks. So here's another um, close up of Edgar. That's my wedding bouquet. I had fake flowers. Would recommend fake flowers because to me, they look very similar to real flowers. Uh, here's some of my records if you're interested in that. And then these are all of my nostalgic like books from when I was a kid and my manga down there are the um Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children books I really enjoy these they're really fun I am a horse girl don't clock me I already know and then I have the white editions of the Twilight books because I love Twilight I am a Twilight girly and I you know I am happy with that 
More vampire books. I love these. These make me so nostalgic. And then here's a closer up on my manga and some of my anime like pop vinyls. All those I haven't gotten to yet. But I love Attack on Titan. It's my favorite anime. So I have read all these. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's book tour. Sorry I didn't get to go in depth on every single book, but I have a ton of books. So don't really have time, but there's kind of the year overview. Bye.